It's 28 after the hour of 9 o'clock right now. The morning uh, this continues with a discussion on bipolar disorder, which is sometimes referred to as manic depressive disorder. The disease affects many, including actress Catherine Zeta-Jones, who recently released she received treatment for bipolar disorder. Two disorder. She says stress brought it on in her case and helping us to better understand the disease. Dr. John Hawkins, chief, psych of psychi uh, chief psychologist there uh, at uh, chief of psychiatry, excuse me, at the Linder Center of Hope. Dr. John, it's been a long day. I apologize. I about understand, that this Frank. I understand. Thanks for uh, having me. Well, thank you for coming in. Let's uh, uh, talk first uh, here this morning about bipolar 2. What's difference? What's the difference between bipolar 2 and bipolar 1? Sure. Uh, to start with, bipolar 1 is traditionally known as manic depressive disorder. Okay. The key component of having bipolar disorder is having history of mania or hypomania. In bipolar 1 disorder, the mania is very severe, usually causes people to have uh, disruptions in their functioning at work, they get into legal trouble, uh, usually have to go in the hospital when they get into those manic episodes of bipolar 1. Is that Bi something that you're born with or does it kind of materialize over time? Bipolar, uh, bipolar disorder has a strong genetic component. Okay. For, for instance, if there's an identical twin with bipolar disorder, there's 80% chance the other twin will have bipolar disorder okay. as well. So there's thought to be a genetic loading for this disorder. And that, as you mentioned earlier, one of the things that may turn the genes on uh, is stress. And mm -hmm. stress can come in a variety of different ways. There's psychological stress, but there can also be medical stress. Uh, medicine, some medications actually trigger manic episodes such as steroids and sometimes the antidepressants that are prescribed. So one of the key things about understanding bipolar disorder is that you get the diagnosis right. right. Most people present with depression. They'll say that I'm unhappy, I don't get pleasure in things, I can't get out of bed. A good history will reveal that they've had periods of time where they've had hypomania. And they don't talk about that because to them it was a really great time. Uh, mm -hmm. They almost really enjoy that. However, if uh, the treatment could actually be different when someone is diagnosed with bipolar 1 or bipolar 2 as compared to just having straight history of depressive disorder. Do we see it more in women or men or is it more of an equal? In, in straight depression or major depression, uh -huh. there's actually a higher occurrence in women as compared to men. But in bipolar disorder, it's actually equal really? to men and women. That's correct. Now, now, now treatment-wise, I mean, medication, yes. obviously, are there, are there other things or medication yeah. that the, the best way to go through or changing your lifestyle? It's both. Uh, mm -hmm. The foundation is medication treatment. Uh, you really need to get started uh, by seeing a psychiatrist to get started on medication, but that's not the only thing. Right. Psychotherapies are, are critical to the stabilization of disorder, education about the disorder, educating the patient what kind of signs and symptoms to look for so you can intervene early, as well as lifestyle changes, as you mentioned. Right. One of the key things is sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which we're all looking for a lot lately. And, and it's, they're very exquisitely sensitive to not getting enough sleep, and uh -huh. that can sometimes destabilize a disorder as well. I think it was my lack of sleep that I, I mispronounced uh, your title there at the beginning. So I no apologize problem. about that. No problem. Dr. Hawkins, thanks for shedding some light Thank on a you. very interesting topic that affects all ways of life. We appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. Thank you.